Ta da! Here we are. Home sweet home. Now it is the one person that's been missing this entire time. Oh, yes, my darling. That's you. Here. Let me get the door for you. Go on through first, and I'll come in after you. Ah, here we are. Finally inside. What do you think? Yeah, it's a lot to take in at one sitting. This manor runs in my family. It was passed down to me by my parents a long time ago. Indeed, it does get lonely with only me living here. But now I won't be alone in this big house anymore. How have you, honey? Ah, I see. You'll get used to living here with me. It's not going to happen right away, you know. I can tell how much you love the way this place looks. Are you hungry? Thirsty? Or do you just want to put your things down and settle in? I understand. You'll need some time to adjust. A lot has happened in such a short amount of time. Here, take my hand. You'll easily get lost in the hallways if you don't have me to guide you. Huh? You want to see my basement? Well, I did mention it earlier. What about it? Do you want to take a peek at it? I mean, it's a pretty comfy basement if you're asking me. Alrighty then, be my guest. Let's guide you to the stairs. Let's open the door, and down we go. Here we are. Take a look around. There's not much to see around here. I mean, I did decorate it for this special occasion. That occasion being have only having you here with me. Do you see the walls? They're painted in your favorite colors. Do you see this furniture? I bought only the best to make sure it would be comfortable for you. Rigged up a fridge and everything to make it extra comfortable for you. Look, there's even a bed for you in the corner. There's another door leading to an adjoining bathroom, and another door is a walk-in wardrobe. My, my. Look at that expression. A mixture of shock and awe. Well, you're not expecting me to put so much time and effort into everything. <laughs> oh, my dear darling. You still have so much to learn about me. <laughs> you know practically nothing about me. All you know is my name and what I am. My apologies about that. Go on, go on. Ask whatever you'd like of me. I'll let you know what I can and can't answer. I will warn you that there are some things that are better left hidden where they're buried. I'm sure you catch my drift. Don't you? Good. I'm glad we're on the same page here. If you don't want to stay in my cozy, well-decorated basement, I can show you to the bedroom instead. It's also pretty comfy, if you ask me. Huh? How do I know what your favorite colors are? How do I know what your favorite foods are? <laughs> oh dear. You should know this already. I'm a Yandere. I graduated top of my class for a reason. Do you seriously want to know why? Very well then. Don't say I didn't give you a fair warning. I've been doing more than watching you from the bushes, you see. I've placed mini cameras all throughout your house. They are inconspicuous, so you wouldn't notice them even if you were looking for them. I drugged your food at night to make sure you slept seven to eight hours each evening. I made all of your breakfasts, lunches, and dinners. Oh? You thought that you'd made them all the day prior? <laughs> oh, my poor little darling. You still have so much to learn. That's okay. We have all the time in the world for you to learn all about me. <clears throat> now, where was I? Ah, I remember. I followed you in the shadows everywhere you went. I had to make sure that you were safe. There's no telling who might attack you out there. I needed to make sure my sweetheart wasn't in any sort of danger. Ah, there's that look I was expecting. Shock, fear, dread. And what's that? Do I see beneath all of it excitement? Does it excite you to kn knowing that someone is always keeping you safe and well taken care of? That's what I thought. My, my. Your cheeks are getting a little flushed. You okay? You feeling alright? Let me check your forehead if you don't mind. Hmm. No fever. That's good. Wait. Are you... Blushing? You are definitely blushing. There's no denying it, sweetheart. 
You're blushing so fiercely you're turning the same shade as the blood I've spilled in the past. Oh, don't give me that look. It was all done for good reasons, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You keep saying that. See how far it gets you. Anyway, I best not tell you too much of my escapades. I don't want you getting a bad image of me. Nope. Can't have that happen. So now, I'll show you the bedroom. Then you can choose where you'll stay. Either in my bedroom or my basement. <laughs> Someone's blushing even more. No, no. Nothing lewd will happen. Get your mind out of the gutter, darling. I'm a wholesome yandere. The most wholesome one you'll ever find. <laughs> now come with me. Take my hand and let's go upstairs, shall we? Hmm? Oh, yes. You've noticed the portraits on the walls? There aren't that many. The ones that you have seen are my ancestors. No one in my family has been Yanderes. The line started generations ago. However, that's a story for another day. Down this way, please. Alrighty. Here we are. This is the master bedroom. I do apologize for the noise. It's an old manor. You never know when a door might slam. A uh, floor might creak. I'm sure you understand, right? Good. Oh? Did you notice this bedroom? It's a complete replica of the one from your own home. I got all of the details perfect. I made sure to get everything perfect for your arrival. What do you think of it? Oh, that's wonderful, darling. I had a feeling you would love how much attention I put into detail. I've always paid extra special attention to you. <laughs> You're more than welcome, honey. You deserve the best, after all. I know that from what you've been through. And now you are here with me, you'll be much happier now. Do keep in mind I'm giving you an option. Do you want to stay here in my bedroom, or down in my basement? What will it be? Do keep in mind I don't have all night. Well, technically I do, but anyway. Oh? You've made a decision? My dear, do tell. Do tell. I'm all ears. So you want to stay here in my bedroom? Is that correct? Hmm, I see. The thing is, if you stay here in my bedroom, I have to keep you in a certain position. I won't let you leave. You're not allowed to run away from me when I've just got you here. I know that while you are excited, I know you are also still afraid. The best way to get rid of that fear is to keep you confined so I can keep a close eye on you. Oh, don't back away. The door is locked shut. There is no hope of getting out of this room. I'm the only one who can open any one of these doors and windows here. You have no power. You have no control here. To think you have any place of making demands is foolish. You're smarter than that. Sweetie, I'm sorry to say this, but I need to tie you up. Now, now. Don't be so nervous. It's nothing too bad. It's just some rope. If you don't want the rope, then I can bring out my pair of fuzzy handcuffs instead. Either way, I'm going to need to tie you down so you won't get any ideas about escape in that pretty little head of yours. There we go. Much better. Oh, don't give me that look. This is for your own good. You have to earn my trust first. I still don't know if you want to try and leave me. Your lips say you won't, but your eyes say you will. That's okay. The human mind is a malleable thing. It can be molded to obedience with the correct conditioning. All it takes is the right amount of words and actions. Soon enough you'll be broken enough for me to trust you. <laughs> you'll be fine. It'll take time to break your mind. Of course it will. It'll be worth it. Besides, I know your browsing history. I know the things you've searched for and the things you listen to. <laughs> Don't be ashamed. We all have our own interests. Why are you struggling, dear? You shouldn't struggle so much. The restraints will dig into you if you wriggle too much. I don't want you to get hurt. But I can't make any promises if you keep struggling like that. Oh, look. You managed to finally calm down and stop struggling. Let's see how long that lasts. 
I have a few things to do, but I'll leave your head tied to my bed. When I return, I'll feed you something very tasty. It'll be one of your favorite meals. However, if you're bad and misbehaved, well, you'll be on the end for quite the surprise. See you soon, cutie. Ah, my mouth is so dry. <laughs>